Hi, I'm Ulla Robertson Neumann and chef and owner of Etia Service NY Catering located in Rockland County, New York. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tuna dog. Tuna dog, you might say, how are you going to do that? Well, that's very easy. Uh, we need tuna fish and some ingredients to bind it together and here they are. So the ingredients we are going to need today are one cup each of cooked sticky rice. I have arborio rice, white beans, blended veggies, uh, they are onions, garlic, carrots and peppers, uh, Asiago cheese and tuna. I also have salt, pepper and oregano as our seasonings as well as two egg whites. And cornstarch, egg wash and breadcrumbs for the tuna dogs. So I'm starting with the rice but there's really no specific order uh, in which the ingredients go in because we are all going to combine all of them the beans, the vegetables, the cheese, the tuna, the egg whites, and the seasonings. And now I'm going to wear gloves because it's going to be a little bit messy and my hands are the best tools to combine these things. So sometimes when you feel that the this batter is a little bit too liquid or doesn't, doesn't combine, you can add a little bit cornstarch to stabilize it. I think that's what I'm going to do, like a few. Just like that. And the cheese is a great ingredient. When you, when you fry it, it will melt and will keep it also together much better. Ingredients are all combined. Let me get my cutting board. And I try to roll out these babies. So the ingredients should be as cold as possible. So once I'm done here, I will probably put them in the fridge for like half an hour or even freeze them if they're for later use. So I have five of these rolled up and I'm going to bread them now. First roll them in the cornstarch, then in egg wash, and then in the breadcrumbs. So make sure when you do this that you cover them totally because if not then they will ooze out in the fryer. So the tuna ducks have been in the fridge for about half an hour and they are ready to go in the deep fryer now. So we have the oil at 350 degrees and it will take about two to three minutes to have them golden brown. If you don't have a deep fryer at home, you can do the same thing in a frying pan. The only thing is you have to watch the temperature of the oil should be around 350 degrees. It will take about 30 seconds for the oil to run off. Uh, if you do this at home, you might want to do this on paper towel. Okay, yep, they are ready to roll. The tuna dogs have cooled down a little bit and I like to cut them over an angle and serve them that way. Let me show you how it looks. I don't know how you like to eat the tuna dogs, but I love them with hot sauce. And voila, here you have it. Tuna dogs the ooh la, -la way. Sehr lecker. <laughs>